Hello everyone, this is the GPD Win 2 running Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, very quickly, if you haven't seen my previous video, I've mapped right analog to the Wiimote and left analog to the connected nunchuck, and then corresponding buttons are, I think, a, pretty much accurate. Might be a little, not super perfect, but uh, oh, it takes a little bit. One thing that you always have to be mindful of is to kind of always enable shake, which I've I've done shake on the nunchuck to L3 and shake on the Wiimote to R3. Triangle XX. Huh? So this game does take um, a little bit more oomph to drive. Thankfully, the GPU Win 2 is still pretty, so it's you see where it says shake with Wiimote. I've mapped that to R3, just so that that's easier. Wow, Mario. Oh, hear the sound trigger a little bit. We're down to 52 FPS. Pulling back the camera a bit. We're drawing a lot more. Look at that, we actually climbed up close to 69 degrees Celsius. It's the first time I've seen it heat up that much. I guess it's kind of testament to... Oh, it's got to... I have to shake. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's one of the important things to remember to include shake when configuring the Wiimote side of things. But yeah, hitting 70 degrees Celsius, it's like the first time I've seen any Dolphin game hit that. So probably kind of a testament to how much power Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually required to run. This game is pushing it to the limit.
so much more satisfying when the game just runs at 60 FPS. Get gems. Whoa! What the heck just happened there? Easy peasy. That 60 FPS when you're just like smashing through things is super satisfying. The rule of three. Oh, what the heck? Look, did I, was I supposed to do something else? So yeah, that's uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, running perfectly fine. Yeah, that's that. Uh, I think I'm just going to run Smash, uh, just so to show everyone that that runs at full speed. And uh, that's it for Dolphin. Thanks for watching.